searching for the witch Siri had quarreled with, Geralt ran into an old friend, Kira Metz. Sorceress told the Witcher about a masked mage. Siri had seemed to taken shelter in his hideout. The Witcher set off to find it, with Kira in tow. Siri had never reached the Elven Mage, yet the Wild Hunt had. The ghostly retinue was one step ahead of Geralt, or so it seemed. The Witcher felt that all was lost, until Kira gave him a new lead. The Crones of Crookback Bog. Hey there, everyone. Welcome back to some more Let's Play The Witcher 3. Alright, so... I hope you guys like that introduction, because we're going to be seeing it a lot. <laughs> Past, like, five videos, I think, have been that. So, in the last video, we found Tamara. She does not want to go back to see her father, which is unsurprising to me. She looks like she's doing absolutely fine, though. We're now here. And, uh... Can we talk to you? Oh, this is like your home. Don't mind me. We're guests. And like all good guests... We, we take all the ink wills that we possibly can. And the silver candelabrums! And raspberry juice, because raspberry juice is delicious. Who just leaves water lying around? And another book. It's like every item, every place, everything in here has one item. These, we, these we're not going to take because you're sitting right there. And, um, you might say something, but you, you don't know, what you don't know won't hurt you. But it might. But not this time. Now let's take a look at what's down here. Smoking pipe. Smoking. Blaze it. What do we got? Mysterious letter. We'll read all right, everyone. There's gonna be a lot of reading in this episode, so just, uh, just a heads up. If I remember, I'll put a, um, strawberries. I'll put a link down below in the comment section. Just skip ahead of this, but this is going to be a lot of reading. Uh, well, alternatively, I guess I could read to the end of the video rather than the beginning. Oh, I bet you there's a key. I bet you there's a key, but I don't have it. It might be upstairs in that one guy's room, but we're not going to we're not going to do it. All right, let's go out. Wow, looks like the rain stopped. Oh, nope. It's still still raining. Raining. Whoa, sir. Showing off a little bit more than you probably should. Hit these up again. And the blacksmith is right here. We picked up a few odds and ends. I guess we might as well go in really quick and dismantle the uh, candelabra at least. Maybe it's true what they say. The witches prepare a deluge. You're welcome. Actually, I think it's early fall, isn't it? Or late, late summer? In the game world, I think. I've seen... I thought we saw snow earlier. Somewhere. Greetings again. So, you got a job for me. An interesting one. Just want to see what you got. Show me what you have in stock. Right, haven't played Gwent against him yet, everyone. I'll do that eventually. So, we're here for the Candelabra. Because this will give us a silver ignit. Do you have any more of them? No. Oh, we do! Oh, this is just a normal candelabrum. Alright, well, we'll dismantle it for a single iron ingot. Oh, we get cured leather for goat ha hides, huh? String. Cure wow, that's really expensive, though. Holy crap! 108 for each one of these. Is that right? Or is that all of them? I, I, I think it's just one of them. Versus 33 for one of these? Nah, it's gotta be all of them. All right, well, we're done. I don't think we took any... Yep, took no damage. We were talking to Tamara. That'd be really weird. So long. Anything behind you? We could go upstairs, but... I feel a little guilty doing that, so no. All right, so we have a notice board. We might as well, we're right here, so we might as well visit that. And then we have an inn. I don't think we're allowed in to it, just willy-nilly. But we'll Everyone see what we can do. to me! To me! Best wares this side of the bottom. I think they're just calling about the, their wares. Holy notices. All these big ones, I think, are for us. Beware of trolls. Caution. 
A troll's been seen and heard to the east of Oxenfurt, on the left bank of the Pontar. Said troll's been known to sing Redinian marching tunes. It is suspected this is part of some Nefgardian diversion tactic. It is recommended that this area be avoided until the appropriate bunch of His Majesty's services can take care of the problem. A brunch branch. In the event of an encounter with the troll, it is recommended to remain immobile, keeping low to the ground and covering one's head with one's arms. There exists a chance that the beast will not then attack, where it will mistake the potential victim thus situated for a, a rock. Berto Bertolomeu, captain of the garrison. Really? I know trolls are dumb, but I can't believe they're that dumb. Monster in Oxenford. By orders of the most magnificent ruler, King Radovid V, any internet monster slayer reading this notice is obliged to abandon any currently unresolved contracts immediately, devote himself to tracking and slaying this monster. The beast in question has befouled the cradle of human intellect, the city within whose territory lies the oldest of academies of learning, namely, Oxenford. The swordman who puts an end to its criminal doings will be rewarded with the king's full generosity. Contract beast in the Oxenford Forest. If you know no fear and seek work, read this notice, for the call contained therein will be of great interest to you. Hans of Sidrius, soldier of fortune and veteran of many wars, hereby makes known the following, being greatly concerned about the fate of the local peasantry, which suffers horribly from the attacks of some monster nesting in the forest near Oxenford. I have decided to grant a purse of Novigrad crowns to the man who slays this beast. Yet may it be known that any man who comes to me without a trophy shall receive no gold, but instead shall be tossed out on his arse so hard he shots it again till the end of his days. Hans of Sodaris, world-famous soldier of fortune, veteran of numerous wars, honored member of the Order of the Lily. Oh, I think that's a branch of the Order of the Eternal Fire. Beware of frauds! The individual claiming to be a graduate of Oxford Academy and showing a diploma bearing the name of... Odrin is a fraud. Our Academy has never issued and will never issue a diploma to the above-mentioned individual. This was a guy who was looking for a drink, I think. I'm gonna take that. Careful, there's a swindler about. Attention, countrymen. Don't get taken in by platitudes and false prophecies dealt in by a certain so-called soothsayer dwelling in Benkalam. The man calls himself a sage, but knows as much about divining the future as any toothless village hag, and all he truly cares about is extracting coin from the unwary. Don't let him cheat you. It'll only encourage him. Felipe Canalia, fifth student of the Faculty of Medicine and Herbology at the Oxford Academy. Gwent, play around with Jigpad. Beat everyone you've ever played in Gwent? Consider yourself a prime player to face the best of the best? Then try your hand against me. A man so good it seems the cards play themselves. To learn more, come to the Alchemy Inn in Oxenport. We'll read of all of this later. Everyone to me! To me! Some good looking fish, actually. We don't really have a fish market. Well, there is a fish market down near me, but. Uh, it's not the best fish market in the world. Let's leave it at that. Alright. I think instead of going to the inn, we are just going to go ahead and. And go back to the Baron. He'd probably want to know that Tamara is missing. Did you appear in the house, Roach? Is that what you did? Did you appear in the house? I bet you appeared in the house. There you are. Hello, Roach. Oh! The barbershop is here! We should hit the barbershop whenever we're in town. Let's, uh... Where is it? Here it is. One second, everyone. There's no reason for us to look like a barbarian at the moment. It costs a bit of cash, but I like to get myself cleaned up. Greetings, master. What can I do for you? Got a razor and shears? Good. Make me look decent. Okay. Uh... We'll go with just a shave. So long. Wonder why he had to take his shirt off. 
<laughs> I don't have to do that when I get my hair cut. And I, when I shave it, I'll take my shirt off. Because I don't, I don't seem to remember doing that. I shaved yesterday. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure the shirt doesn't go off. But maybe the foam's really thick here? So they don't want to take any risks? Alright, so we're going to go back and, and tell the Baron about Tamara. And then we'll look and see what other low-level quests are around. And see about getting them done. That will include any monster hunting we're supposed to do. I don't know if we're ready for the one quest we started with the, uh, the missing girl. I don't know if we're ready for that because we'll want a better weapon. Alternatively, we can just go out and look for more question marks and level up to level 8, in which case we know there's a silver sword waiting for us here in Oxenport. Quite a bit of money. But we could, we could do that. Oh! I didn't hit the weapon upgrade? I only hit the, uh... Only hit the armor upgrade, apparently. Excuse me, gentlemen. Please don't get in the way of the horse. Please don't get in the way of the horse. Please don't get in the way of the horse. I warned you. I said it multiple times. How oh, look at all the refugees. Oh, actually, they might just be waiting to get inside the... Back to their homes. But they should hopefully have a passport, then. Stay out of my way. Still yelling at the peasantry. Running in circles. Running in circles. All right. Remember two episodes ago when I said I was going to have an outline of stuff to talk about? Guess what I didn't do yet. So we can talk about some other games as we're, I guess, as we're walking through. So what else am I doing? So, holy crap! We're back to Darkest Dungeon. There were a crap ton of bugs with uh, my release of Lum version two. I believe I got all of them knocked out. Uh, it took about two or three hours to do it all, though. Oh my god. I hate when I when I mess up like that. It's so bad. Especially because I had one one bug, which was stopping the stun resistance from being applied properly. And ended up um, lasting for the remainder of forever. <laughs> for what I can tell, it was absolutely terrible. Slow now. We're going the wrong way. We want to go this way, Roach. Make like a beeline right for what should we call it? Oh, I don't remember this place actually. What is this place? We'll have to explore this later. It looks like some something on the outskirts of Oxenfort. These aren't the black ones. Hmm. All right. Well, we're back on the main road. Let's get going. So. Armageddon Empires and The Witcher 3. Those would be the videos I upload together. And the Darkest Dungeon plus StarCraft 2. That's the current plan at the moment. Oh, hello. We're going off the beaten track. Sorry, everyone. I'm a little... Uh, I, don't remember, I don't remember this very well. Oh, God. There's a lot of something down there. Ghouls. I don't know what that level Faster. they are, and our sword is not... I don't... I'd rather stick to the things I'm supposed to be doing at the moment. Can you go up this hill? Yes, you can, Roach. Lots of deer. Looks like a fort. Oh, this is the pit! This is the Devil's Pit, I think. Yep, we were there before. Okay, I have a general idea of where we're located. Careful, Tim. This looks like wolves on the way. We can run faster than wolves, though. Which is a lot faster. This will be Milborn, I think. Oh, wow, Milborn. Makes me think of a... What's that card game? Milliborn? I think that was what it was called. It was a French game. God, what a friend and family ender that game was. Absolutely miserable to play that one. Uh... It was a lot of playing cards that stumped hey your opponents. One second, I want the uh, the upgrades here. And counters to them, and everyone in a multiplayer game teamed up on anyone who was doing well. It was, if I'm being honest, it was a pretty miserable game. <laughs> but it passed by the time when we were kids. This is this was before I realized board games could be thought-producing. Growing up, all the board games I played were games like Life and Monopoly and stuff of that sort. So, imagine my surprise when in college I was introduced to Puerto Rico. 
um, power grid or um, East or all sorts of other thinking board games. It was amazing. And then much later on, I grabbed uh, all sorts. I grabbed those games plus others. Like I, I said, college. That's not that's not necessarily true. There's only uh, two games in college I remember playing a lot. Uh, Magic the Gathering. That was wow. That was a long time ago now. I, I swore off Magic the Gathering a long time ago. I I will not put that much time into <laughs> a, a collectible card game again, having been uh, burned by L5R some time ago. That's a lot of wolves, Tim. I don't think I need to kill like eight wolves. That's a little too many. What was I talking about? Board games. I don't remember what about though. <laughs> Sorry, because this. Oh, hello. What's this? Oh my God. Ah. Oh, I took the southern road. I'm almost dead. <laughs> that's a. Uh, that's what a level 16 will do to you, everyone. I was one hit. There was no way we would have survived that. Where on easy. earth are you going? Where do you want me to go? Why would you... You want me to go... Oh, over the bridge. But we're no match for that. So we're going to be going around instead. Wow, that one hit. Good God, almost killed us. I saw the red skull. And I was like, nope. Not, not going to stop. One whole swallow for that single arrow hit. We killed a griffin in Mortal Kombat and an arrow almost killed us. I guess that makes sense in a way. Are there drowners back here? I do not see them. We're taking this, yep, to the bridge right here. Then we'll cross this. Go through the town, which we were a part of, which we entered a long time ago now. We should probably do another horse race to get some more money. It'll be worth some experience, and it's worth something now. Now, let, let's let's go talk to the Baron, and then we'll figure out what we're doing for side quests. Uh, we can race through. There's no one really on the road. Is that the cat. There's our there's our objective. I don't think he's gonna like the answer very well, but oh well. He should have expected this, unfortunately. God, I feel so bad for him. All right, back to uh, back to board games. So, still working on that Hero Quest board game of mine, that the redo of all the rules and what have you. Been something I've been working on for years, and the Dwarven Forge tiles came in. Some of them for the latest, for, oh, not the latest Dwarven Forge Kickstarter. I think that one's happening soon. You guys are still out here praying, huh? How about that. So, now i got to paint all of them. Oh my god, it's going to take a lot of time to, uh... A lot of Dawnstone to paint the dungeon. Plus all the traps now that I have and so on. The good news is I get to finish finalize the trap rules, I suppose. I'm thinking that probably I'm going to be devoting a lot of time toward that board game and finally finishing the first seven dungeon levels. Good god. I've ran a lot of my playtest groups through the first two dungeons over and over again. But I'm testing uh, changes... Small changes to the rules need to be thoroughly tested to make sure it doesn't unbalance anything. It's so hard doing balancing. That's because you think you you think everything's going well, and then one small alteration, everything gets thrown into chaos. So it's, it's tough. But so far, it still feels pretty good, and everyone really likes it. I'm still being very mysterious, because I don't want to say how any of the rules work at the moment. But uh, it should come out... I, I should do a video on it at some point. I actually had taken dozens and dozens of screenshots of it to show the fact that I've been working on this forever. The problem with that is I kind of just... So if I was to release it for free, uh, none of the artwork can be kept. I would strip all the cards of their artwork before I would give it away. Um, and if I was to do a Kickstarter for it, I would be doing Kickstarter just for the art. So what I have right now, the only problem I have, I feel guilty taking screenshots or taking pictures. I, well, let me phrase. I feel guilty taking pictures and showing them onto the internet because the art is just stolen from the internet over the past like eight years. Uh, some of the, the artists are gone, and so uh, it's just, uh, I feel it, like it's not my art, I didn't pay for the art, it just grabbed it off of whatever what I could find in uh, the images, so 
part of me feels like, no, I, I really shouldn't release any pictures for it. I feel too guilty. But I'm not charging money for playing it, obviously. So, And the idea was to show people what the art would eventually end up looking like. I think I do have two of the artist's numbers. Sorry, not talking to everyone. Everyone else is talking. I forgot what I was talking about again. There's so many people who were talking. Alright, we're here to see the Baron. Uh, we didn't get involved in any combats. We took a giant hit to our chest, but we, we lived. So let's walk in here and give him a chat. Then we gotta figure out what I'm doing. I might go off screen for a little bit, everyone, in order to figure out what I'm doing. Oh, I just occurred to me. I'm sorry. I recorded this. We didn't have to record me walking back to town. I guess arguably I should not have done so. Hey, here, Roach. Walk the rest of the way. You can eat up here. Bloody Baron's cold body is because he's a beastly madman. Gurgles demon blood every morning. Right, true. Is this at the same? Wonder where we'll find him this time. Oh, hello. Something's happening with that guy. Is he tied up? I'll tell you. I'll tell you where the loot's at. <laughs> Your mate split the loot between them long ago. At least that's what I would have done. And you, shut it now. Save your strength. Die with some dignity. Please! I'm begging! Well, looks like they're gonna kill him. I can't, uh, I can't interrupt it or anything of the sort. The guards are all level 20 or so, I think. So, we... A long time ago, I uh, tried fighting the guards. And while I was able to survive, you, know, you can't do any of your damage. All the guards go active. So it's... It's gotta take the insults and what have you. Can't do anything about the situation right away. Okay. Oh, let's visit the Baron. And then I'll go off screen for a little bit and figure out what I'm doing with our loot. I'll visit our storage. And then we'll, um... We'll figure out what we're doing with when it comes to quests and what have you. I'm listening. What do you come to me with? Gave Tamara your gift. How'd she react? Probably not like you'd have wanted. She threw the doll away. Threw it away? Oh, gods, I hoped, despite all. Oh. Oh. Well, what of Anna? Still don't know anything specific, but I'm on her trail. Well, will you stand there like a knob? Find her! How do you wind up here? Just curious. It's no secret. I was a Timerian soldier. More units smashed at the war's start. Soon after, we'd lost hope of regrouping, driving the foe back. Those who remained wandered north. Others, deserters or merely broken men, joined us. We were a snowball rolling down a slope. By the time we reached Crow's Perch, I commanded a sizable force. Just march into the fortress, make yourselves at home? With Nilfgaard advancing, the local lord had fled, abandoned the perch. Once this war's over and Nilfgaard's victorious, the Black Ones will grant me a title. All talk of a self-proclaimed baron will cease. Interesting. I guess he's trying to help out as best he can. I guess it could argue it's not very helpful. The locals here, but it's given them some defense from the monsters, I suppose. And they're still alive rather than starving with the other refugees. So long. Okay, so I think everyone, I'm going to go off screen for a tiny bit and see if I want to store anything in our stash. And then I'll have made up our mind what we're doing and we'll begin doing it. So give me a few seconds. Well, um,. All right, everyone, I know what we're going to be doing. We're going to be heading off to this site and trying to do the contract of the Woodland Beast. Examine the site where the transport was attacked using your witcher senses. This place is outside Novigrad, 
And it's not too far away. I think this was, was, was the one guard who we talked to outside Novigrad. Um, Pam, 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 Pam. <laughs> I still don't know what song that is that he's singing. Right. I believe this is when it was the dark outside and we killed the priest and his followers. I, I believe that this was that quest. Let's do this really quick first. Might as well resharpen our weapons. We'll grab onto, grab onto. We'll take Roach and head out there. Know the price for their help. Blood, their nightmares. What the heck are you talking about? Maybe a, a witch or something? So, we're already level 7, and this quest is level 6. We need to do the lower level quests if we hope to get some more experience from them. So my thoughts are we do this, and then we might do a question mark or two, and then we'll probably go back for Kara Metz, Metz, because her invitation to us is also level 6. So that means we can probably handle whatever it is, though I wouldn't mind... Ooh. I would not mind having a better weapon, just on the on principle that we're level six. It's level seven, about to be level eight, and still using a level two sword, silver sword. Nothing left but to pray. Okay. Before we go any further, we should reapply our hangman's oil to this. And how's our necrophage oil? Still good. Right! Alright, let's do this. It's been a while since we've done a quest we I think we were able to handle. Right? Most of have been questioned. Been, uh, we tried Jenny in the Woods and that didn't work out well for us. We saw a few more higher level things out there that we're no match for at the moment. We could do some racing, I guess, with the horses? You know what? We are kind of going to pass by that way. It is already sunset. So, sure, why not? Let, let's race another gentleman. This way we can complete that quest, and then I think we get another quest to do racing elsewhere. We should also look for the boxing, and see where- Oh, and we have all, all the notes to read, but we have another 30 minutes or so before bedtime. Slower. Alright, let's, uh, let's do another race. Hello, Ratko. So, what'll it be? Gonna race or not? Want to sign up? Don't need no signing. Long as you're here, come sunset, and bring gold for the betting. Good day, grey one. So, who are you gonna race? Struttering Mama Mamatko, Iron Arse Hands, or Black Bogdan? We erased. We already raced Iron Arse Hands. Let's race Stuttering Matko. I'll take Stuttering Matt. Yeah, 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 you'll sit, say, I'll, 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 ah, fuck it. Come on, let's set the wager and get racing. I stammer. I used to have a stuttering problem when I was a kid. And I, I know his feeling. Go! I can remember about the barrels this time. Excuse me, sir. Gotta take the lead on ya. Oop, almost didn't see the turn there. I gotta rest a tiny bit. I hate that I, I can't... I, it's not like I, I have to I have to basically walk. Oh, I think, Tim, you're, you're gonna lose this one. No, it's not. This isn't it. It's a little further. Excuse me. There's the end, I hope. That was close. Wow. Nice, nice. You seem to know orchids as well as you do monsters. Here's your gold. And if the urge to race again grabs you, come see me. Who else is racing? Oh, we gained 70 gold. Oh, hello. Whoa. Really? 
we gained a racing saddle. What does this do? 40 stamina? Oh, 15 more stamina. Well, I think reason not to equip it. Get up. We could do the other one right now, but we'll do it low. Well, let's do it right now. Why not? We're right here. It's still considered sunset, Whoa I guess. There, Roach. It'd be nice to finish up this quest series and see what else we get. We'll probably get if we get another upgrade for Roach, that'll be really handy. We have plenty of money. If we fail, we can just do it again. So what'll it be? Gonna race or not? Wanna sign up? Don't need no signing. Long as you're here, come sunset, and bring gold for the betting. Good day, grey one. So, who are you gonna race? Struttering Mamamatko, Iron Arse Hands, or Black Bogdan? Black Bogdan. With 25 again. Ride against Black Bogdan this time. Take you for a ride, all right. Come on, let's set the wager and get racing. <laughs> that means they say, I'll take on this guy. His, he gets to insult the newcomer all the time. Go! Hey, Witcher! I don't know a way to unfortunately slow first. down. I have to skewer my mare with my spurs. <laughs> well, that was a bit awkward. I made a mistake, and I think I think that's going to cost us. Hey, we do have a racing saddle that might give me the extra stamina I need to beat him, but it's going to be really close. I'll be first if I have to skew on my mare with my spurs. Oh, don't do that. Yeah, new saddle. <laughs> Woo! Nice, nice. You seem to know horses as well as you do monsters. Here's your gold. And if the urge to race again grabs you, come see me. Nice. 50 crowns plus. 40 crowns. Nice. 90 total. Horse blinders. And... Quest completed. Wonderful. Hey. And the blinders, what are they used for? 20 horse fear level. We already have a pair. Okay. Don't remember where I got them from. I think I got them from a chest a long time ago. All right. Well, let's do this quest. And then I think we'll just have time to read all the notes after this then. And then we'll pick up in the next one with doing some question marks, I guess. I like that we are just to find Siri. And realistically, Garrett will probably be throwing his heart and soul into it. But... This is a video game with like hundreds of side quests and optional things to explore, lots of loot and things to go see, and uh, this will be like the last thing Geralt gets done. <laughs> or, or so occasionally, or occasionally, or alternatively, Geralt has uh, ADHD and simply, is that a person over there? That's a bush, like, just like I do apparently, and uh, just can't keep his mind on track. There's that dead person again. Is this where the ambush was? Move it. No, I don't see anything there. Yep. Stuff to talk about. It's so hard to think of stuff to talk about without an outline. I keep creating outlines. What, what's happening is that um, I'm in the mood to play, even if I don't have an outline. And so that, uh, that kind of stinks. Even th Well, no, Tim, an outline would really help you. You don't want to talk about work. We should talk about that. What other games are you playing? So Armageddon Empires. Still have three, still have three more videos of that to upload. And then finally we're all caught up with my backlog. Because I would, as usual when it comes, sometimes I'll ask a question to the audience. You guys are like, what, sh what should I do? And if it's really important, like in this case, it's like, okay, do you want me to make a new deck? Do you want me to go after the another, like, make a new deck? Are we going to play against the um, Cult of the Wasteland? Do you want a new type of army? That, that sort of thing. So I'm waiting for answers for that. And I'll probably play Armageddon Empires until the end of this month, and then finally put Armageddon Empires down, because it will be August. And I'll need to decide what I'm doing for Halloween. Because come September, 
I want to start playing scary games again. I might even put this game down for a little bit to do so. All Basically, all the games I'm playing stop for about two months so I can play some creepy games, and then they get fired up again. Darkest Dungeon might prove an exception to that. Ah, we have a nice creepy music, everyone. Let's, let's let this play in somewhat silence. Those are grave years, I think. Tougher ghouls. Owl ghouls. Oh, I forgot they have a shout. Right, they also have, um... Sorry about that. They can uh, hurt you because they have spines on their back. We ah, can not. Can I knock him down? Ooh, Tim, almost, almost dead, just like that. Drink. You're diseased and you're dying. Oh! Wow! You are dead! I don't know where the last save was, either. Probably... Oh, I didn't save it after the races, did I? Maybe the game auto-saved for us. Wow. Good God. We don't have any notes about Al Ghouls. And our weapon's still only level 2. I don't know if we can handle a level 5 Al Ghoul, let alone two of them. Let's see what happened to us. That's... Ah, it's so bad. Nice, nice. Okay, so that was a horse blinder one. Let's uh, let's run back out there. We'll Faster. do this again. Let's prepare to fight ghouls, which I should have done the moment I saw them. So that's useless. I think the stun bomb is also useless. So we'll just use these. We will probably need more food up there. And I can't use two potions. I can't use two potions because that will bring my toxicity level too high. Then we start taking damage over time until our toxicity level drops back to normal levels. So what I mess up there? So trying to fight two algals taking a big hit. We, we take damage whenever we hit. We strike them because they use those spines. We could, I guess, we can try running away and seeing if they lose their spines. Uh, I guess we're gonna have to do that. We could alternatively drink the white goal and drop our griffin potion that's in effect, but I would like to keep using decoctions. We'll just have to be more careful and possibly run away if it comes down to it. You can't get surrounded, and if you get hit once, you have to basically run. I don't think we can really stay on Roach during the fight. That's not going to work. His fear level will go up too high. Even with the blinders, it's still going to raise too much. Alright, so let's talk about more about Armageddon Empires or, or the like. Oh, actually, let's talk about some games I began recording but never uploaded. I, so, there were quite a few games I have attempted to record. I recorded a few videos for them, but I decided in retrospect to delete them. They either weren't interesting and or I'd have to do a ton of video editing on them afterwards to add my voice or correct sound issues. One of them I was playing was Vermintide 2, and I recorded a whole series of videos where I explained how the game worked, I recorded my adventures joining random uh, pickup groups, and it was awesome. But I didn't have any voice in them. So I'd have to re-watch them and record them. And just like StarCraft 2, I was having trouble doing that on, the com on my old computer. Now that I have the new one, I guess I could do so again. I'd probably want to record me and my friends playing, as opposed to Pugs, though. There's also... what was the one... Well, actually, we're right here, everyone, so we'll pick up this talk after this quest. Okay, Tim. Be careful here. 
We don't know about Al Ghouls. I don't believe I have a beastry entry on them. We'll get it after the fight. Yeah, we do not know about Al Ghouls. We're going to have to probably keep, whatchamacallit, up. They are they are healing the damage I'm doing. I keep moving. And then I missed. Quinn's gone, Tim. Careful. Nah, this is this is not gonna work. We're just not doing any damage to them. Nope, not working. We need a better weapon than this. They're completely healed. With two of them, it's just, it's too much. Yep, we're gone. We're no match for this. Geralt, no. I want, I want to run. Stop, Geralt! Keep running! Okay, do we... Just one of them is here. We might be able to kill one. Okay, good. With one down, we can kill the other. Yeah, it's pretty sad, isn't it? We really need better weapons. Like, we need one, and we simply... Oh, good job. Good, good job, Roach. Thank you. We need to get a Yurden down. Wow, and you still took a huge hit half your life and almost died. Wow, oh my god. Well, we won. Okay, good. Let's quick save. Hopefully we'll get some sort of better weapon from this. Or maybe there's some treasure that has a better weapon. Let's also reapply our Necrophage Oil. They're the most common creatures for us to fight at the moment. Some footprints. Oh, hello. Look like claw marks. But here, an arrow. Shaft's broken off right at the skin. Someone tried to hide it. Bandits. Looted bear. Either someone stole the cargo after the monster attack, or our monster collects military paraphernalia. Paraphernalia. I love that. And these... What are, they, what are these? More blood marks? Claude and Nod. Necrophage is fed here. But all the wounds they inflicted are post-mortem. So someone else killed these people. Bandits. Footprints. A survivor? Either that or the monster's a humanoid. Something's fishy here. I should follow these tracks. Alright, let's see where they take us then. Let's also quick save again. We could call Roach, but I think we'll just walk. I don't if we're walking to a trap well, if we're gonna trap Roach we'll let me get away. we killed? Must be another one. Uh-oh. That's a battlefield filled with drowners. That's a lot of drowners, and this goes through them. Hmm. Might want to look around some.
fucked him. Get out of the water, Tim. <laughs> what the heck, Harold? Oh, you swam. Gotcha, understood. Got it. Slow them. A little sloppy, but we did do it. We, should, we will reapply our necrophage oil as well. Don't worry, everyone. Looks like we left two things of loot behind. Okay, so let's reapply our oil again. We'll probably always buy the... Well, I mean, not always, but we'll be breaking down this weapon for parts as well. When we finally get... We finally complete it. And it looks like our decoction is about ready to end. Hornwort grows on the sides of mountainous areas by lakes. Or at least that's where I tended to find it ages ago. So it's like beggar tick. Yep. Recognize the red or orange blossoms from the first Witcher game. One step more and you'll gain a new hole in your head, Dwan. What do you seek here? Speak! Elf. This is an elf. Need to talk to your commander. It's important. I don't trust you. Figured as much when I saw your bow aimed at me. Still have me in your sight. And I'm just not prone to doing stupid things. I can assure you of that. I'll be assured when you hand me your weapons. Come on, your swords. Drop them, and I'll take you to Venosio. No. No. Afraid I can't agree to that. An error. The last you'll ever make. Et me! Scoyatel. No, Geralt, the one you were, uh, you were, I'd almost killed would have been a good one to hit. Let's, um, yep, get this ready. Oh my god! Wow! Just like that, the group of them is dead. Elves, their kingdom, if I, I don't remember it so well, but I can try to sum it up what I remember as, as I remember it. So, the Scoyatel are freedom fighters, and I don't like using the term, but we'll use it, uh, terrorists who raid humans and take their stuff. This is in vengeance and in re uh, retaliation for the humans' slaughter of them and their people, and take, they're taking of their lands ages ago. It, um... Well, the Squirtel is like, I think that means squirrel warriors or something like that? And the humans fought back, of course, you know, they're That's not gonna it, let Roach. themselves be, be attacked. And a big part of the first Witcher game was <clears throat> who you're gonna side with and work with the entire time. Gosh, I hate killing them. Because, you know, it sucks for them. They've lost their home and everything. But I can't let them... I'm not going to let them kill innocent people and take their things. Although, arguably, I guess maybe they're not... Maybe they're not innocent. It's not a bad weapon, but our weapon is better. Yeah, 22 damage. I can't pass that up. I really can't. Let's re-equip our Hangman's Venom. We'll turn this quest in, everyone, and then we will read a, a ton of notes and call the session at that point. What was I talking about? Oh, let's quick save as well, so we don't have to do that. I can't remember again. <laughs> I need to write stuff down. Uh, Halloween games. Halloween games. 
So, I really enjoyed the survey I put up this year for what games you guys wanted to watch me play. And they seem to be popular as well, which is good. You guys made excellent choices. Thank you again for voting. I'll be doing the same thing when it comes to... When it comes... Oh, kids, they're hiding here. Come out. I'm not gonna hurt you. When did you last eat? A week back. Half a charred squirrel and a handful of berries. Here. Be sure to share it with the others. Thank you. Here, for you. For your kindness. Oh, I don't need anything. Whatever it is, if it's worth anything, they should spend it. Aww. He's hungry. I wish I could give them more food. In beasts' clothing. Oh, probably a book about werewolves or something of the sort. All right, let's stick with the plan and turn this in. I wish I could actually give them every, all three. I just saw the answers like food, money, or what have you. If I give them money, I'd be worried about them being attacked and the money taken. I give them food, at least they're eating for tonight, so they don't have to worry about that anymore. Well, for tonight, they really. Sh I would love to escort them back to over here, so at least they're w within a camp. Though I don't know if the army would be would feed them anyway, given these times and these people. Shouts for help. Probably ghouls around. I don't see anything, so we'll just keep on going. And yep, it was this gentleman after all. Alright, let's turn this in, everyone, and then we're just going to read a bunch of books. Crickets. Stop eating crickets. The bug paste. I don't know how anyone gets past what I call the bug paste. This is so gross. I guess you cook them? You're back, finally. Did you get the beast? No beast to speak of in the woods. Just elves from a squared's hellband that attacked the convoys. Here, they're squirrel tails. Scoyatel, you say? Mm. And I thought we'd exterminated the last of those vermin. And the non-humans left and wised up. Well, seems we'll need to pacify them again. Make a list of all the long ears around and hang every tenth one. Yeah. That should do it. Yeah, definitely. I see we're of a mind on this. You're a good man. Here, the gold I promised you. And the pass. Good luck. Yeah, that's why the Squirrel Tales are kind of attacking people. <laughs> Unfortunately, they're making it, they constantly make it worse for themselves. Of course, you can't just give, I guess you can't give in and surrender. What good does that do? Because then the humans will just push you around, or at least these kingdoms will. <laughs> Where's all that faith coming from? I don't know what the black guards think of demi humans. I gather they hold them in higher regard. So a part of me, if that's true, is pulling for them to win this war, actually. Oh well. Alright, well we're out here to read away from everyone else. Let's dismount. Thank you guys for watching. If you're not interested in the reading, there'll be no reason to watch the rest of this video. Let's go ahead and pull up our beastry, and then we'll read all the books we've got in our inventories. But this might take like 30 minutes. So let's do it. So our beastry first. Owl ghouls. Let's read about these. And owl. Oh, God. Look how hideous that is. And owl ghouls basically about our school. Yarpin Zygrin, dwarven warrior. Owl ghouls differ from normal ghouls in size, strength, coloring, and most importantly, intelligence. 
Whereas ghouls and graviers are primitive creatures unfit to plan even the simplest ambush, al ghouls and their kindred, such as semitors, are capable of forethought and are thus much more dangerous. Is this Ard? Axie. Oh, the stun! I'll have to remember that. What else we about rot fiends? Corset reeks. I think they're called rot fiends because they smell like roses. Vesemir, witchers of the wolf school. Rot fiends resemble decomposing human bodies that have been stripped of their skin. Their presence is given away by the overwhelming stench of the rot, which gives them their name. Devourers are a particularly dangerous kind of rot fiend, marked by an insatiable, insatiable, appetite for human flesh. And we have more old race to read about. What will we? I think trolls, neckers. I guess we've we'll neckers. Take ye, gents. There's Neckers under this here bridge. If you all cross at once without slowing or stopping, there's nothing to fear. But if your cart throws an axle and you get stuck out there, well, just close your eyes and pray to Metelli. A lone Necker is harmless. Five are dangerous. Ten can kill even a veteran monster slayer. Particularly troublesome are the larger, stronger individuals known as warriors, as well as the rare breed of Neckers known as Fucus. Alright, that's all the monsters so far. Pop open our inventory. Get over to our question marks. And again, reading these, everyone. They're, oh, <laughs> I think we'll read maybe five of them at the moment. We'll read the books. Get those. Actually, we should read these first. The Sharpers, a Gwent Plank Society base at Crow's Perch, is looking for new members and opponents. Experience preferred, but we also school newcomers to the game, but do not return any coin lost during training matches. For more information, seek the club chairman. Philip Strenger, known as the Bloody Baron. Oh, we've read these before. That's Beware of Trolls. There's the Shrieker. There's a Swindler about. Contract in the Oxford Forest. Monster in Axon Fort. Alright, so we'll get, I guess it's just the books we'll be reading. How many times have you cursed a tailor for sewing a shirt more crooked than that infamous home in Novigrad? How many times have you argued with a smith who proved unable to forge a simple horseshoe in a month? How many times will you steal food for your children's mouths because some armor demands a Kaviri fortune for a ho-hum helmet? Enough! Basta, I, s I say. And so should you. Empowered by the tome you hold in your hands are a few simple tools. You should be able to perform basic repairs all by yourself and perhaps even create something from scratch. So show those extortioners from the crafting guilds who shall make the fool of whom. Wall up your sleeves and get to work. Jane of the Woods contract, we already knew that one. Lands of the North, Velen. The land of Velen, located in western Temeria, with its capital in Gors Velen, is one of the poorest provinces in the kingdom. Its territory encompasses the Isle of Thanad, home to the famous Magic Academy, which, along with Gors Velen, constitutes the commercial and developmental main mainspring of the entire province. Velen is a stop on the Novograd trade route running through Sidaris, Vergen, Brug, Sintra, and other such southerly realms. Veloners subside primarily on agriculture, crafting, and animal husbandry. The province is practically deprived of all natural resources. It contains a great deal of forests, wetlands, and cultivated woods, though the greatest part of it is covered in swamps and bogs. Mysterious letter. All is prepared. We await only your arrival. When I told the commander of your commitment and zeal, he agreed to welcome you into our ranks at once. At first, you'd be put through the preliminary training, but you already know how to ride and wield a blade, and thus have already mastered the essentials. The rest will not take much time. As soon as you don our colors, we will set out in search of your mother. And we will find her, I promise. Even if we have to comb every inch of Velen. Toussaint, a, touch, a duchy out of tales of fantasy and wonder. When a traveler from northern, the northern realms first crosses the border into Toussaint, he feels at once as though he had stepped into a land rippled, ripped straight from the pages of a fantastic fairy tale. He will know no inclement weather there, for even the winters in Toussaint are mild and sunny, with only gentle calming breezes and not a hint of gale. He will know no hunger, for the trees and bushes of that land burst with ripe and juicy fruits all the year long. He will know no loneliness, for each and every soul he encounters will treat him like a long-lost friend. He will not find a single backwater of dullness, boredom, or inequitude, inequ in this overflowing stream of marvel. In Toussaint, he, the wine rages in torrents, music plays ceaselessly, and everywhere the air is filled with the sound of birdsong and the twittering of beautiful maids who are never stingy with their ample charms when a handsome knight comes a call in. 
The capital of the duchy, Buclair, is an agricultural gem, full of glorious elven monuments, delicately soaring towers, masterfully carved reliefs, and atmospherically mysterious ruins. Only the rare sun in a field of black, the odd gold and dark stain of an otherwise pristine edifice remains one that this land, this fable incarnate, this is a vassal of Nilfgaard. Pearls of the North, Novigrad. No one can claim to have traveled the Northern Realms who has not been to Novigrad. If I were forced to list what during my main meanderings has made the greatest impression on me, it would be precisely this great and yet at the same time free city. A metropolis worthy of the Empire. Its only flaw is that the civilization Nifgard carries within her has not yet enlightened it. That is why hordes of reactionary cultists of the eternal fire dwell in the midst of its excellent buildings and superb commercial infrastructure. One feels as though superstition is how the local hierarch of his temple guards cement their power over the city dwellers, and many they are to control, for the city counts no less than 30,000 of inhabitants. While strolling through its fabulous port, surrounded by marvels of archi architecture, it is hard to imagine that centuries ago Novigrad was a mere minor elven townstead. When a city fell into the hands of the Nordlings, its problems grew exponentially, for as is well known, the people of the north can do a great many things, but peaceful and orderly cohabit... Yep. <laughs> Cohabitation is not one of them. And so Novigrad first belonged to Redenia, and then fell under Tamarian rule. Though finally, after endless compromises and bargains, it at last became a free city. But is the city truly free? I dare to doubt it. Redenian influence makes itself felt too strongly in every street corner, and the fact that the city is located within Ravidan's territory speaks for itself. While wandering the city's streets, I came across four water mills, eight banks, and nearly 19 pawn shops. There are also a great many houses of simple pleasures, such as taverns and brothels, and Novigrad's commitment to matters of faith is borne witness to the fact that the city contains no less, and I kid you not, 19 temples to the eternal fire. What more can be said? Like Novigrad has all the mark makings of a capital of the world, and perhaps that is what it will one day become. First, however, someone needs to bring order to within her walls. And I think, I think we'll stop there. Do we pick up any quests or any items? We do not. All right, everybody. Thank you again for watching. And I will see you all in the next one. Take care, everyone.